Greetings, families. Welcome back once again. I hope you are well. I hope your day is good. This is just a quick update on Desert to Power Ministerials meeting that went on last month. Can you believe it? 30th of June. I have this video. I put it somewhere. Forgot about it. But this weekend, uh, there was a news on similar things. So I thought, let me add it together. The ministers of energy uh, and some other countries, Djibouti, Chad, Mauritania, they have a meeting concerning the concerning desert to power. It's all about solar system, how to bring light into the countries. Anyway, families, please listen, and I'll be back. Opened yesterday in Ouagadougou, the fifth ministerial meeting of the Desert to Power initiative concluded with 18 points of commitment and priority. Among these points are the need to strengthen public-private partnerships and to regularly present the initiative's projects at investment forums. The participants also visited the Waga Northwest Solar Power Plant, one of the achievements of the Isufu, Kabore and Mumuni Wang initiative. At the end of the fifth ministerial meeting of the Desert to Power Initiative, 18 points summarized the commitments made and the priorities set by the energy ministers of the AES countries, Mauritania, Chad, and Djibouti. This includes, in particular, the need to strengthen public-private partnerships and to share results, benefits, and experiences gained from various projects with the beneficiary countries of the initiative. To put theory into practice, the closing of the meeting is followed by a field visit, and it is the facilities of the Waga Northwest Power Plant, about 20 kilometers from the capital, that welcome the visitors. With a construction cost of over 20 billion CFA francs, the plant has a production capacity of 42 megawatts. This visit is part of the activities of the Ministerial Meeting of Sahel Countries that took place this morning. So it was a good time to make the trip. We wanted to see firsthand the achievements that have been made as part of this project. So at this site, we were able to visit a solar power plant that is fully built and operational. So this means that the initiative we saw this morning, uh, both in terms of achievements and future plans, is truly an initiative uh, that has proven itself. And um, this plant really proves that uh, there have been results. From the solar field, which covers nearly 40 hectares, to the technical building and the storage system, everything here is explained to visitors. It's a textbook case for the countries participating in the ministerial meeting. These are concrete results that satisfy the AFDB, whose financing of more than 4 billion CFA francs made it possible to build the plant's storage system uh, the translation is uh, quite short, but it was really about uh, demonstrating that the Desert to Power initiative uh, has achieved concrete progress. This morning we uh, discuss things in a meeting room, but it's different to actually see the concrete achievements firsthand. Here uh, it's a solar power plant that can produce uh, 42 uh, megawatts. Overall, the Desert to Power initiative covers 11 Sahelian countries. It aims to interconnect these countries, expand their electrical grids, increase energy production, ensure the operational and financial viability of electricity companies, and create an environment conducive to private sector financing in the industry. Thank you so much for listening and watching. At first, it was complicated to make desert to power. What is it about? Until I saw the solar panels and everything, the money they spend on it, I hope these countries that come together has found a solution to something that they can work together. Chad, Mauritania, Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, they work up something together to help their citizens. Because the next video you will see is about 1,200 solar panels that has been installed in Ouagadougou. Some are close to the museum or in front of the museum. I was like, what? Even in front of the museum, there was no light, according to the news. And so they have to close early. People cannot get in at that time. What? I was looking, I was listening. I was like, what is going on? Anyway, families, listen to this one as well. I'll be back.
and as we mentioned in the headlines as part of the renewable energy and energy efficiency development program 1212 street lights have been installed in the municipality of Ouagadougou the ministry of energy and its partners went to observe the actual implementation of these projects last week this field visit was covered for us by Franco Buidrago and Pinedian. Solar streetlights in the city of Ouagadougou, installed as part of the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Development Project, Phase 2. The department responsible for implementing the government's energy policy and the financial partners are visiting these streetlights. Our visit to this site is a concrete example of a project that has been implemented as I mentioned by Eber. So um, we would like to acknowledge here the dynamism of the various stakeholders. The city of Ouagadougou is benefiting from the project 1,212 street lights from the site of the National Museum to the well-lit Saba and Yalgado roads the delegation was able to see firsthand the effectiveness and functionality of these lights, a mark of satisfaction for the beneficiaries. The National Museum benefits from street lights, which now allow our heritage institution to be illuminated. This enables us to go beyond our previous mediation activities, which, for example, used to end at 6 p.m. Today, we can organize activities within the National Museum, even at night. More than 486 million CFA francs is the amount raised for the installation and rehabilitation of these streetlights within Ouagadougou. I would like to congratulate the Burkinabe authorities, but also the local content. We have uh, enabled uh, local companies to develop their expertise this is truly an integration project that impacts both rural and urban communities but also helps to develop local expertise. The total funding for the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Development Program is estimated at more than 2 billion CFA francs. The project aims to promote the development of renewable energies through the construction of mini power plants, solar boreholes, and the installation and rehabilitation of streetlights. Thank you so much, families, for listening. This is what is going on. I was wondering what was going on before the previous government and government and government that came to pass. What were they doing? So, yes, we have sun in Africa. Solar panel is the best way to go. If they should find a way and means to make it affordable so it will be easy for even individuals to buy it, use it. Um, having said that, I was also thinking about the reason why the university students asked President Macron for electricity in their dormitories. I mean, this is common thing, but they don't have it. Wow. I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know. I don't know because in some countries, even villages with one house, they have electricity because they know it's basic necessity and it's basic human right. So it doesn't matter whether you are on the mountain, wherever you are, you are alone. They have to provide you electricity. And for some part of cities not to have street light, well, it's equal to crime. The crime in those areas will increase because there's no light. No one will see what they are doing. And if they are fighting terror, yes, they need this light. The government should make it affordable as well. I know there is a factory in Burkina Faso that produce, sorry, solar panel in Mali as well. Maybe they should team up with them so it will help them get it faster, affordable so communities Africa. buy and put it up themselves. If it can be affordable, I'm sure they can do it themselves. That's all I have to say on this. My VIPs, my kings and queens, thank you so, so much. My returning families, thank you for your time. I appreciate you all. In just a quick update, I will leave you here. God bless you all.
credit to our TB News for sharing this with us. And I'm sorry I kept that video for almost a month now because I forgot about it. Yes, so I'm happy for our brothers and sisters now that they have got light and I hope they will take good care of it. I will see you soon. God bless you all. Bye-bye.